Assalamualaikum to Dr. Farihan. So for today's company review and strategy plan, we choose Apple company to be reviewed. But before I start, I want to introduce myself first. My name is Siti Nona Ziha Binti Zulkifli and this is my group mate. First, the history of Apple. Apple Company is a technology company that started in 1976, founded by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. They began by making microcomputers and their first big success was the Apple II in the 1980s. The Macintosh, introduced in 1984, was the first computer to have a graphical user interface and a mouse. Although it didn't set well initially, it found success in desktop publishing. Jobs returned to Apple in 1997, making the company profitable again with innovative products like the iMac. In 2001, Apple introduced iTunes and the iPod, changing how people listen to music. They later started selling songs online. The iPhone, a touch screen smartphone, was released in 2007, followed by the iPad in 2010, creating a new market for tablet computers. Throughout its history, Apple has been known for its innovative product and its impact on the technology industry. Next, the vision and mission of Apple. The first one is the vision of Apple is to make the best product on earth and to leave the world better than we found it. And the mission is that Apple is dedicated to the empowerment of men to make a personal computer accessible to each and every individual so as to help change the way we think, work, learn and communicate. Next, let's move on to the Apple's organizational culture. Firstly, the company emphasizes increasing accessibility in both product and carriers. Secondly, Apple is committed to environmental sustainability, reducing its carbon footprint by utilizing renewable energy sources and eco-friendly materials, with a goal to manufacture all products using clean energy by 2030. Thirdly, the culture at Apple is characterized by a forward-looking perspective, caring for everyone and promoting continuous innovations, customer focus, inclusiveness and social responsibility. The company prioritized the well-being of both employees and consumers, fostering a work environment that supports health and work-life balance. Additionally, Apple values personalization, aiming to add an individual touch to product and services, ensuring that each customer's specific needs and preferences are addressed while upholding privacy and security standards. The goals and objective of Apple is first to offer customers high-quality services and knowledgeable sales personnel. Second, to offer customers the best possible user experiences with its innovative product and technology. Third, to create and develop its own hardware, software, application and services. And lastly, to boost sales volume by establishing more stores, introducing new products, streamlining the manufacturing process and applying effective marketing strategies. Now, let's look at the evolution of Apple's logo. Apple Company is a well-known multinational company recognized by its computers and it uses the iconic beaten Apple's logo as its trademark. The logo has evolved over the years starting with the original logo in 1976 with Isaac Newton under an Apple tree. In 1977, Steve Jobs replaced it with the rainbow striped Apple symbolizing the Apple II's color display. In 1998, the monochrome black Apple reflected a high-end brand image transitioning to a quad apple in 2001. From 2007 to 2017, the metallic chrome apple embraced a minimalized and flat design aligning with Apple's product line. The current logo represents innovative, reliability and style evolving alongside the company's progress. And the last is the Apple Board of Director, which lead by Otto D. Levison as the founder and CEO of Apple Company. Now, let's continue with SWOT analysis with first is strength. First is high brand recognizability and customer loyalty. Apple is globally recognized and has a large loyal customer base due to its innovative product, super design and excellent customer services. Second, products and services expansion. Apple strategically diversified its services including streaming, iCloud, Apple Care and financial system. Third, high quality product and leading technology age known for superior craftsmanship and attention to detail of Apple products. Fourth, high profit margin. Apple adopts a premium pricing strategy allowing for high profit margin despite lower sales volume. 
And 5. Efficient method for rapid invention, Apple excels in fast and effective innovation driven by its innovative culture and substantial investment in research and development. And lastly, competent and research development, Apple invests significantly in research and development in locating a substantial portion of its revenue to stay ahead in technology. Next. For the next SWOT analysis, I will pass to No Sabrina to explain about it. Thank you, Naziha. Now I will move on to the weaknesses. The first one is expensive products and services. Apple products such as iPhone, Mac, iPad, as well as company accessories like AirPods and the Apple Watch are priced higher compared to the comparable offerings available on the market. Second, software compatibility issues the lack of support for the third-party software or technology in apple's product result in their incompatibility with other products produced the third one is perception of a lack of innovation in recent years companies latest product seem to be remarkably identical to prior one for example, recently Apple has released a new product which is the iPhone 15 with a design that is identical to the previous iPhone design. Fourth, over-reliance on iPhone revenue. Only the sales of iPhones bring in USD 142.3 at 1 billion for the company. Fifth, limited advertising and promotion. Apple rely less on conventional advertising and promotional activities. 6. Acclaim tracking. Apple has been charged with deploying tracking software in its phones that reveal customers' exact location. Next, let's move on to the opportunity. The first one is coming up with new products and technologies to beat the competition. Apple undertakes the development of valuable software designed for utilization on the Mac OS and iOS operating system. Second, artificial intelligence utilization. The utilization of machine learning technologies enable Apple to harness robust AI algorithm, for example, like the use of Siri. Third, expansion in emerging markets using its strong brand image. Over 1.8 billion devices will be actively being used in the year of 2022. Fourth, market development for advertisement. Apple may profit from the sustained expansion of the digital advertising market. Fifth, broad network of distribution. To increase overseas sales, it needs to provide more distribution channels through third parties. Sixth, intensify music streaming services. Apple has introduced a number of popular streaming services including iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Apple Music, and Apple TV+. Next, for the thread. The first thread is getting more competition in their different fields. Companies such as Google, Samsung, and Spotify are gradually disturbing Apple's market dominance by offering more affordable alternatives that are comparable to Apple products. Second, have to struggle against fake products. Many fake products of Apple were produced in the market. The product produced usually using less expensive materials. Third, supply chain disruption. Apple's ability to manufacture and market its product is largely dependent on an innovative global supply chain. Fourth, backdoor mechanism. Apple has refused to build this secret pathway because it could potentially be misused by individuals. Fifth, increasing expenses of labor abroad. As labor costs rise in manufacturing hubs like China, overall production costs may increase. Sixth, attacks have no reliable defense. Numerous reports of criminals using the attacks for theft of cars and stalking people. Next, let's move on to the internal factor evaluation IFE. As we can see on the table, Apple has a weighted score of 3.104 IFE. This indicates that the company has a strong internal position in terms of its strengths and weaknesses. A high score indicates Apple is one of the strongest companies in its sectors. 
Max External Factor Evaluation EFE. As we can see, Apple has a weighted score of 3.40. This is indicates that Apple is responding in an outstanding way to existing opportunities and threats in its industry. Thank you, Nusabina. My name is Nur Fahadanisa. I will be moving on to the CPM. CPM evaluates several variables including store location, product quality, financial profitability, customer loyalty, and market penetration. Apple usually does well in R&D and product quality, concentrating on high-end goods. Huawei places more of an emphasis on customer service and loyalty, while Samsung expertise in advertising. Apple is the strongest as indicated by the total weighted score of 3.6 and Huawei is the weakest with the total weighted score of 2.10. Next is the Apple achievement. First is Apple Pay. If you use Apple Pay, you won't need to worry about bringing cash or credit cards with you with anywhere you go. Second is AirPod, Apple Watch and wearable tag. In the market for wireless earbuds, Apple AirPod and AirPod Pro have been highly popular which has contributed to the expansion of Apple wearable business. Third is iPhone sales and innovation. Since its introduction in 2007, the iPhone has been enormous commercial success with each new model increasing previous sales record. For its security and privacy features, Apple is widely recognized for its strong emphasis on security and privacy. Its devices incorporate various features to prioritize user security such as Face ID and Touch ID. Next is custom design A series chips. It allows for seamless optimization, resulting in industry leading processing power, energy efficiency, and smooth performance. And then Apple App Store is a popular platform for Apple device because it offers a wide range of applications that are easy to discover, download, and update. And then iMac as a solution. The iMac integration of both hardware and software under the Apple ecosystem is a key feature that set it apart from many other desktop computers, resulting in in a simple and streamlined for user experience. And next is superiority of iPhone cameras. iPhone camera produce high quality photos on Instagram stories. Vibrant colors, accurate details and balanced exposure are the hallmarks of both image and videos. And the last one is Apple TV. Apple TV allows users to mirror content on their television screen including image and videos easily by synchronizing with iPhone, iPad and Mac computers. Next is Apple problem. First is battery performance. Concerns have been raised by certain customers regarding the capacity of the batteries and overheating. Certain customers have unforeseen reduction in battery performance with software updates. Second is over-reliance on its older industrial designs. Any modifications to its industrial design would be extremely expensive. For example, the iPad lineup maintains a consistent and Apple Pencil also has remained unchanged since 2018 until now. And the third one is production problems in China driving the stock down. Due to the Foxconn facility located in Zhengzhou factory status as the primary production site for Apple's iPhone, an insufficient supply of the product has been discovered, which Apple is potentially facing a deficit of 6 million units of iPhone Pro. Next is lack of leaders. Apple has lost numerous in recent months. Several individuals living including the Vice President of Services, the Head of Industrial Design and leaders in the field of privacy, information system, online stores, software engineering and others caught the intention of the press. Next is overpotating a mid recession. It is anticipated that Apple will reduce its investment and budget in 2023. In addition to the pandemic related difficulties, there have been reports of trend on development resources in both hardware and software updates. Next is rising e-waste problem. In 2021, Apple generated an overall waste of 52,490 metric tons, exhibiting a notable rise of 40.8% compared to the previous year. Next is ongoing strikes on Apple vertical integrations. Despite Apple's historical resistance, the company plans to transition its iPhone Lightning charging port to USB-C starting with the iPhone 15 launch on September 12. Apple aims to retain the Lightning uh, connector for a few more years, aligning with the EU's USB-C standard adoption mandate, presenting it as customer advantage. Next is low investment in inexpensive product. Apple, known for its premium product, introduced more affordable options like the iPhone SE and to broaden its customer base. However, reports suggest Apple may have abandoned plans for an iPhone SE launch in 2023, citing poor sales performance of lower to mid-end iPhone variants. And the last one is the slowdown of Apple's silicon innovation. 
Apple started switching the Mac computer from Intel CPUs to Apple Silicon in late 2020. Starting with some models, the, in, the inability to eventually upgrade or replace the SSD and RAM on an Apple Silicon Mac is one of the most bothersome features of the device. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Thank you, Farhana. Moving on to the third stage of strategy formulation, which is CRAM matrix and BCG matrix. As we can see here, all strategies are positioned in the first quadrant. Market development is a growth strategy used by Apple to sell existing products in new markets and employ this strategy as a supplementary strategy, leveraging innovation, design, and branding. The examples include, include entering the Chinese smartphone market, expanding in education, and targeting the health and fitness sector. Next is market penetration. Market penetration focuses on selling more existing products in the current market. Some of the ways Apple can use market penetration is to increase its share of smartphone market, include strengthening brand loyalty and reputation and enhancing competitive advantage. For the, pro for the product development, it involves creating or improving products to meet the market need. The company's approach is distinguished by a focus on innovation, design, excellence, and a meticulous development process. This strategy aligns with Apple's commitment to cutting-edge technology and outstanding user experiences. Backward integration is a key strategy for Apple involving the acquisition or investment in suppliers to gain control over its supply chain. Example is Apple's investment in semiconductor companies enabling the company to control chip design and production. This strategic move enhances Apple's ability to innovate, ensure high product quality, and reduces dependence on external suppliers, contributing to the company's overall success in the market. Forward integration is a vital strategy for Apple by taking control of distribution channels prom prominently demonstrated through the Apple Retail Network. Additionally, Apple's online stores, including the App Store, will serve as further example of the forward integration. This comprehensive strategy enhances brand image, customer experience, and control over product distribution. Next is Apple strategy formulation via BCG matrix. As you can see here is the table of BCG matrix. All strategy included in the second quadrant, which is star, have a significant potential for further market expansion. Under the market development, Apple's flagship products, the iPhone, maintains a strong presence in the stars category, reflecting its significant market share in a rapidly growing industry. Not only that, Apple's success is driven by a strategic marketing approach that emphasizes the brand image, user experience, and an inspirational uh, lifestyle. They are sustained by its ability to diversify its product portfolio, including iPad, Macs, wearables, and services like Apple Music. The next one is market penetration. Apple employs successful market penetration methods by maximizing sales and marketing share through the widespread product availability. The company implements aggressive pricing tactics and trade-in programs contribute to the market presence. Apple's expansion into services like Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, and Apple Arcade complement hardware sales, fostering deeper customer engagement and loyalty. As for product development, Apple showcases a commitment to the continuous pursuit of technological advancement and innovation. The examples include uh, the M1 chip, iPhone series evolution, AirPods Pro, and HomePod Mini. Apple has employed software upgrades like changes to iOS and macOS to showcase Apple's holistic approach. For backward, for backward integration, Apple's vertical integration includes internalizing critical elements like hardware and software, same as Apple App Store, that exemplify forward integration, offering a distinctive customer experience. These strategic choices in forward integration must align with the market dynamics and technological progress. And lastly is the forward integration. It is the key strategy for Apple involving the acquisition and collaboration with primary component suppliers for strategic advantages. This approach opens up possibilities for allocating resources towards the exclusive content creation or acquisition. Recent, recent advancements such as Swift UI underscore Apple's 
commitment to enhancing user experience, reinforcing the company's dedication to innovation and continuous improvement. That's all from me. Now I will pass to Farah. Thank you, Petri. I will continue to present about Apple's QSPM. Based on the sum total attractiveness score, we can clearly see the offering discount and promotions, innovation and the introduction of new features or functionalities, and Apple targeting the health and fitness market are the three strategies that Apple needs to concentrate on, especially on the innovation of Apple products. It is because the sum total attractiveness score for innovation and the introduction of new features or functionalities is higher than offering discount and promotions and Apple targeting the heart and fitness market which is 6.38 compared to 4.70 and 4.02. Next move to the strategy implementation which the first one is market penetration. Offering discount and promotions it is involved offering discounts and promotions to customers. The reduction of prices and the offering of unique promotions is one of the key goals of this strategy which aims to attract new customers. Moreover, lower prices might make a brand more appealing in comparison to its competitors. A business can portray itself as an appealing alternative and even acquire market share at the expense of its rivals if it makes use of promotions on a consistent basis. Apple historically offered educational discounts to students, teachers, other members of the school staff. Individuals who are qualified for these discounts are typically required to authenticate their status as students, instructors or staff members of educational institutions. Next, product development, innovation and the introduction of new features or functionalities to attract customers and gain a competitive edge. It involves effective product positioning, demonstrate its unwavering dedication to innovation, design super priority and the creation of cohesive ecosystem. This approach emphasizes high quality, user-oriented devices and services seamlessly integrated within a unified ecosystem. An essential element of Apple's strategy education is the creation of distinctive flagship products including the iPhone, iPad, Mac and the Apple Watch. Apple's uh, differentiation from its competitors stems from the comprehensive user experience facilitated by the interconnectivity of its devices such as iCloud and the App Store ecosystem. Furthermore, Apple utilizes a blend of aspirational advertising, product showcases, and strategic partnership to strengthen its product positioning in the field of marketing. Lastly, market development. Apple targeted the health and fitness market by developing products and services that cater to the needs and preference of health conscious consumers, innovative product creations, strategic collaborations, and ecosystem integration comprise Apple's health and fitness strategy. In parallel, the health app centralizes users' health data for analysis. Fitness Plus incorporates a subscription service component offering guided exercises and personalized health confirmation. Collaborations with health organizations and insurers demonstrate Apple's dedication to product innovation, health research, and encouraging healthier living. Apple shows agility strategic thinking and a commitment to long-term market growth and product diversification by joining the tech-driving health solution movement. Apple's approach encompasses not only expanding their market but also cultivating a sense of community through health research programs. This strategy of technological innovation, strategic alliances and user-centric design shows Apple's ability to anticipate and meet consumer needs while making a positive impact on society. That's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. I am Afif Nur Iman and I will continue to present chapter 5 which is conclusion and recommendation. The first one is expectation of the new strategies. Apple's new strategies are expected to focus on product innovation, sustainability and growth. The company will continue to introduce groundbreaking technologies and revolutionary products focusing on hardware, software, and services while enhancing user experience. Furthermore, 
Apple plans to diversify its service offering, potentially entering new markets, improving its ecosystem and providing recurring revenue streams for financial stability. The second one is expanding into new markets and segments. Apple is expanding its retail presence in emerging markets like India, China and Africa to make growing demand for smartphone and devices. However, these market present challenges like affordability, high competition, regulatory barriers and cultural differences necessitating adaptation of product and services. Apple can expand its customer base by offering affordable, accessible and inclusive product for the elderly, low income and environmentally conscious segment. Apart from that, Apple can expand into new market creating customer value but must balance growth and profitability while maintaining core values and competency. The last one is diversification strategies. Apple can expand its healthcare market share and growth by developing advanced health monitoring devices and health-centric applications. Additionally, Apple could explore the electric and driverless vehicle sector, potentially manufacture its own or partnering with established manufacturer. This approach focusing on design, software, and user experience could significantly change the automotive market. Essentially, Apple's diversification strategies align with industry trends. Next is the recommendation. Apple's strategy recommendations are based on its internal and external factors analysis. The company's IFE score of 3.10 and EFE score of 1.73 indicate strong internal position but slightly below average response to external factors. Apple should strike its market position by enhancing retail and distribution activities in the, in the stars quadrant, focusing on supply chain control and customer experience. Finally, the recommendations underscore the significance of Apple's strategic diversification of revenue streams, efficient regulation negotiation, and environmental responsibility for market resilience and market leadership. That's all from me. Thank you.